Before starting, make sure you follow the first tutorial where we show how we can set up all the resources. Let's jump into our second chapter. MongoDB inserts update and delete. Let's enter this process group and let's see what we're going to do. We're going to insert multiple new record. We're going to insert a single new record. We're going to we're going to insert record using a record based approach. In this case, if you see here, the processor used it's a get mongo record as compared to put mongo it's a put mongo record as compared to put mongo next we're going to see how we can update an existing mongodb record and for this example we're going to use the put mongo operator and then how we can delete uh, a record in mango using delete mongo processor and finally we're going to see how we can delete multiple records from MongoDB. So let's start with insert single new record. So this is an example. What we do, we generate the flow file initially and we provide one JSON payload inside that generate flow file. And as you can see, it's as in our uh, previous tutorial where we have these three columns, user ID, username, and email. And we're going to forward it to put Mongo. The put Mongo processor receives the client service which we discussed uh, earlier on, how it's set up. We tell him to what database to insert this and in what collection. If the collection does not exist, he will create it. Client authentication, we're gonna set it to none. And we're gonna tell him that the mode for, for put it insert. We don't have any update queries because the upsert is false. We're gonna see this later on. And the right concern, it's acknowledgement. Update mode will be the withhold document, but since it's in mode insert, this will not be considered. Okay, let's apply and let's run this once. Uh, by the way, before that, let's make sure that we don't have any records in that collection. So you can see there's no output. So let's go ahead and run this once. And we can see we have a success. If we go to Mongo UI and query, we can see a record was inserted. Let's see what's the outcome of this. So this provides you with a response. The original content stays the same, and in the attributes, nothing is added. This is how you add a single record using the put Mongo processor. Now let's go and see how we can add multiple new records. So for this example, I've added some random records in this case. If you see here, for user ID, I'm generating a random number. For the email, again, I'm generating a random string, and the username is going to be the same. But let me go and run this. If you see here, we have a thousand records. Let's stop it. And now let's run. We're going to have an insert. The absurd is false. Everything stays the same. But now he's going to deal with multiple records. So let's run this one. We can see it's pretty fast considering that it's on my local host. And if we're going to run get collection, we see we have multiple rows. Great. So now we saw how we can add multiple records. What about adding multiple records using record-based approach? So what does that mean? In this case, we're using a different processor. We're using a processor called put Mongo record. And this one uses a JSON three reader controller service. Let's go ahead and see initial, the initial input. You see here, we have two rows and it's a list. Let's go and apply. And before that, let's go and remove that collection from MongoDB. We're gonna drop collection the payload in the queue and let's go over th this configuration we have the same client service using the db mongodb controller we're going to insert in the same test database and the same user collection uh, the right concern is going to be acknowledged and the reader the record reader is going to be mongo record based json tree reader so let's go and navigate and see its configuration click on the view configuration then here a bit simpler than we saw in the previous controller where the schema access strategy or what does that mean what basically he's asking us how am i going to know the schema and we're lazy here we just tell him you know what just infer it and let's add the mongodb record base let's run this one and we can see though we inserted two records he gives us a single outcome and if we go to our collection and we're going to run Line, we see we have two new records inserted. So from the perspective of efficiency, this put MongoDB record, it's more efficient than the put Mongo with multiple inserts. Let's move on to update record. The way we update record, it's using the MongoDB 
the put mongodb processor and the put mongodb processor now receives the update mode as we discussed in the past when we said how we can insert records we use the insert mode and now we're going to use the update mode we have the same connection we have the same database in the same collection and in this case we're going to use update mode with upset option upset option tells it if there is no available record in the collection for me to update using the filters or the update query then i will insert the new record the next option for us is the update query key or the update query so you can only have one of those enabled. In our case, we're going to use the update query, which is a valid Mongo query filter where we say the user ID one will be updated with the incoming payload. And the update mode for us in this example is going to be withhold document. We have two options, withhold document or with operators enabled. For this example, we're going to use withhold document. What does that mean? The whole document operator allows us to replace the document that we're going to insert into and the right concern it's acknowledged now let's go and review the payload we're going to send we have the user id insert user id one with the username inside byte it's going to receive this address if we're going to go and look at the payload in the collection and we're going to look and evaluate the collection we're about to update we can see this is the record we're about to update so let's run the flow and observe what happens on once run update record and let's go and review the changes in mongodb we can see that particular payload was added where the user id one entry was referenced so that's how you update a record using using the put mongo operator now let's go and see how we can update the record with the operators enabled with this example our put mongo processor changes the update mode which we're going to set it with operators enabled we're going to leave this the rest the same we're going to leave the mode update with upset true and the update query is going to be one as well. But this time we have to pass it a different payload. So we have to use the set operator in this case. So if you see here, this is the way you pass it. You give it the set operator and the key and the value you want to update. So if you look into our payload, we can see that for record one, there is no email address. But since we choose in our with Mongo, to do an upset, that record will be added. So let's run this one and run once, go back to our payload, run again the select query, and we can see that this particular record was updated with a new email address. If we would to go here and change the email address, say give it a new value. Now, this particular value will be updated. So let's run again and demonstrate this and run the query. And now we can see that particular email value got updated since the record already exists with this new key. Great, so that's how you update a record with operators enabled. Now let's see how we can delete a particular record. So the delete Mongo has its own processor called delete Mongo. And if you see here, the configuration is pretty simple. We have the connection service, we have the database and the user. And there are two modes for the delete mode, delete one or delete many or referencing an attribute, which is going to be one or one or the other, one or many. And if there's another option here, fail when nothing is deleted, set to true. This is when you have multiple flow coming in with the list statement and nothing happens. Do you want it to, to let you know that it failed or no? So let's run this one. Let's see the payload that we're going to send to him. What we tell him right now, I want you to go and delete the records where the username equals to inside byte. So if you see here, we have this user, we have two entries with user inside byte. He's going to delete the first one he finds in this case. So let's go ahead and run this payload, run once, and now let's review. We can see that record with user ID with the first encounter inside byte username was deleted. So that's how you delete a single record. Let's see how we can delete multiple records. In this case, we have the same setup, but this thing changes here. The delete mode says to delete many. And let's see how the payload looks. In our case right now, we have to have a common key or a common column with a common value across our collection so we can delete multiple of them. So you can see we choose email because email, they're all the same. Let's run this, run once. And if we go and run a query, we should 
get nothing back. So right now we deleted multiple records using the delete mango with the option delete many. Great. Now let's see how we can delete all records from a collection. Before we do this, let's insert some data in the collection. So you remember how we insert record base. This is going to give us three records. Let's see how we can achieve that. We're going to use the same mango with delete many option. But now the filter is going to be different. It's going to be an empty filter. You see, open, close, curly bracket. We run this one. And we can see it run a success. Evaluate. And we can see that the collection, it's all gone. Let's go back to our canvas and review what we have done so far. We saw how we can insert a single new record, insert multiple new records using a sequence of flow files, insert multiple records using the record based uh, record based approach we saw how we can update a record using the whole document mode and update a record with operators then we follow up with how we can delete a single record delete multiple records using filters and delete all the records in the connection. So this wraps up our insert update and delete chapter on Mango, TB and Nightfly.